Hi, welcome back. Let me introduce you to the Amazon Echo. It is Amazon's uh, voice assistant and uh, it will let you get the information or control the things through voice. The device looks like a cylinder and uh, uh, it is always connected to power supply and uh, it wakes up whenever you say keyword Alexa and uh, it will respond to your given command. The device itself has two buttons. One is for setup that you need only initially to just do the setup uh, like Wi-Fi password and all. And uh, the other one is a mute button. If you don't want it to get to respond to keyword Alexa and commands, you can just mute it. And uh, there is a volume control to control its volume. And that is also you can um, do through your voice. Currently, I just uh, am muting it uh, because uh, many times I'll be saying Alexa, right? I don't want it to get uh, response. And the other thing is basically you can buy a course remote. This I found it useful if you're far from uh, Echo so that it, it cannot hear you or if there is a noise environment where uh, Echo can't hear you, you can use the remote to just you need to press the button and say the command and also it, they have a music control buttons. So that's about the device. One more thing I would like to mention is about uh, positioning of Echo. Definitely it should not be placed very near to your uh, TV because TV sound is going to interfere with the uh, the echo commands right um, for the demo purpose i kept it here but typically i keep it uh, near my workstation which is also very reachable from my sofa and it's reasonably uh, placed from my kitchen too so you might want to keep it somewhere far from your tv or music stations but near to wherever uh, you sit or work so that it can um, listen to your commands and so the features right they are keep on adding the features day by day and um, I'll just go over the features which I use uh, most uh, I found it most useful but there are plenty of features available there keep they, they, they once you buy it you can you can keep checking those uh, there's a what's new and you can even ask Alexa like what's new then it will uh, tell what are the new features coming up so the features out of those features I use mostly the checking the weather and uh, setting up alarm that I found it useful because uh, if, you, uh, if you put your laundry and uh, if you want to get reminded after one hour or so you can just uh, tell it to Alexa it will remind you so that we found it useful for any cooking or any, anywhere you need a timer uh, it will be very, very helpful uh, apart from that basically you can um, check your commute to office information basically what's the tra weather I mean, traffic and uh, how much, how much time does it take to reach and all and uh, uh, you can get the movie information and you can even search for nearby restaurants and uh, they recent, uh, they connected also to this IFTTT service there you can set up any recipe so that uh, IFTTT is basically if this then that service you can basically hook it up to Alexa uh, one feature I'm using there is to find my phone. They have one recipe. So whenever you say Alexa trigger find my phone, it basically gives a call to my mobile so that if I'm if it's somewhere uh, somewhere it will just ring and I can find it. That I found it useful. Uh, but there are many features available in IFTTT. Uh, the other features are like you can check the news. I usually listen to NPR. You can just ask Alexa like what's news. Then it just uh, you can even they have an app. You can basically uh, set up the sources which you are interested in, and they support you in radio. They support Spotify, music, and uh, uh, they it can ask uh, basically you can ask uh, simple general knowledge questions about politics. Uh, so then uh, it is pretty decent and uh, understanding them and responding. And you can check something. You can it can always pull it from Wikipedia, and. And of course, the smart lights and all right. There are a lot of like Philips Hue or uh, Vimo. They keep on adding all these uh, uh, smart devices to support. And uh, you can call an Uber. There's a new feature they added. And these these are few to name it. And these I found it useful. Okay, that's about uh, 
it's out of the features but good news is you can add your own features in amazon echo's world they call it as skill skills you can view it as like uh, apps to android where developer will add their own uh, apps for their own services right similarly for amazon echo we can add our own skills using alexa skill kit alexa alexa skill kit is basically a collection of uh, their apis tools documentation code samples everything put together and it will let you add your own skills to the amazon echo so and they have this alexa skill store where you uh, where developers can publish their skills and it can be used by uh, all amazon echo users so there are tons of skills already added to alexa skill store and even i added my i myself added one skill called food nutrition lookup using which we can check uh, nutri nutrition information of uh, any given food like that there are many uh, skills are available for example fitbit has their own skill again using amazon echo through voice you can check your uh, daily state uh, your steps information and how you are doing and all those things and when i saw one bank capital one has a skill where you can uh, check your balance information and even do some transactions and all similarly so everybody uh, adding their own skills for their services so future we can be control we will control everything through our voice instead of uh, apps or um, doing uh, uh, their way in sub going through websites and all now using this alexa skill kit i can control my setup by adding my own personal skill so uh, here is the flow basically we need to add our skill to amazon Sa alexa service i named my skill as jarvis i just named after uh, iron man's iron man movies uh, uh, voice assistant uh, jarvis but here it has female voice uh, so once we uh, we need to add a, uh, our skill name and we need to give uh, our sample utterances what are the commands we expect and there's a way to give the attendant schema they have full uh, documentation on how to develop this uh, uh, how to develop a skill so once we add sample utterances like uh, what are the commands we need to give like uh, uh, alexa tell jarvis to play stranger things from netflix so this could be one command and uh, so you need to give the sample utterances whatever you expect in your skill and uh, there's a way to define the uh, expected values and uh, uh, slots and all uh, the, they have a good documentation on that uh, uh, alexa skill kit once you uh, give your own sample utterances then uh, uh, you need to have one endpoint where this uh, uh, intent will be sent through the alexa service and uh, to respond to that you can uh, you can write your own web service or you can use amazon's lambda function uh, service uh, in my case i'm using uh, alexa Lam uh, amazon's lambda function and uh, i wrote in node.js and that from there the intent will go to the node.js program from there basically i send messages to my raspberry pi where i have a python server running which will respond to these commands. Here is a flow of Jarvis skill. Let me explain you the flow by using one example. Suppose if I want to turn on living room lights, I would say a command like tell Jarvis to turn on living room lights. So this voice command will from echo, it will be sent to Amazon Alexa service. So by looking at tell Jarvis, it will understand that this is intended to Jarvis skill and it will get the intent schema and sample address information from Jarvis skill. So the command here, turn on living room lights should match with one of the sample utterances from where it will get the intent name. Your intent name is lights control and uh, it has variables like room. Here it will be like living room and the command it will be like on. So using this information it will form a uh, JSON intent request and uh, using endpoint information here endpoint will be my uh, the lambda function so this json intent request will be sent to the lambda function where i have my node.js code running which will understand this which basically decodes this intent request and uh, sends the 
decoded command to my Python server which is running on my Raspberry Pi which again understands the command and it will issue a command to my RF transmitter to send code to turn on the living room lights. So again once it is done the lambda function will get a will send a response saying that uh, turning on living room lights so the response will be sent back to echo echo will speak out the speak out the response so this is the flow similar flow applies for all other commands in next video i'll start the demo of this jarvis skill with one simple feature thanks for watching see you next video